So my original plan was to cut in the video of the launch sequence for the Viper. But since there's these copyright infringement rules that you have to deal with, I couldn't do that. So please enjoy this short rendition of my version of the launch sequence. Viper pilots to the launch bay. All Viper fighters prepare for launch. Transferring launch control to Viper fighters. Launch when ready. Yep, that was it. That launch sequence made me want to become a Viper pilot every week. I didn't design the helmet itself, I went to Thingiverse, a great place to check out 3D designs by other people. This particular helmet was designed by Colonius in June of 2017. So I wanted to catch you up on how I got to this point, so let's do that. Once you have your project downloaded to your account on Thingiverse, you can either print it yourself on your own 3D printer or you can send it to Thingiverse or print a thing and have them print it for you. The model arrived with each piece marked with a piece of blue tape indicating its position on the 3D map. Using the 3D map I worked from the bottom up in concentric circles to complete the model. The crown of the model is where I started to run into the real modeling work. Whether it was through the heating and swelling of the plastic during the printing process or my lack of getting the parts exactly right in the gluing process, the crown did not come together completely. So I had to improvise on how to fill the gaps. I had some sheets of thin and flexible styrene which I decided to cut into strips wide enough to cover the gaps from the inside. I could glue them on the inside which would give me some place to be able to bondo and the glue, the bondo wouldn't fall through. I bondoed outside because that stuff stinks. I used the bondo body repair kit to fill in the gap which is a two-part hardener kit that you mix together with the paste and the hardening drops. I would suggest testing it on a part of your project as once you mix it together it starts to heat up and if your parts are thin enough they may melt or warp with the heat of the uh, chemical reaction but once it sets you can sand it and see where you need to apply again like I said once you mix it together you have a short window of time before it starts to cure and harden and then it's game over now let's head back to the bench and look at some other 3d models and projects here are some examples from uh, the pre 3d printing if you've never seen the, how the process works, it basically lays down a bed around the object that you're going to print and then it starts building the object up layer by layer on the print bed. Once it's done, you remove the base, you have your part. This was one of the sample things for the printer that I picked up. Also the unicorn, which came out really well. Uh, you can see the ridge work there and for something like this it could be fur so that's not too much of a big deal for that for the Rossi here you can see like Navy here once you if you use something like the putty to fill in the ridges to make it smooth you're gonna have to deal with that you don't want to lose your detail 
a navy or whatever but you know the navy's probably going to come off of there so i can put rossi on there somewhere but even printed on the eagle for the galactica you could see how heavy that ridge work is and it, you want it to be smooth so how are you going to deal with that i've been using bondo for years and right there on the thing it says glazing and spot putty well i've been using it for spot putty never even occurred to me for the glazing and so basically glazing i set it on and just kind of smeared it across to fill in all those those ridges and then you sand putty sand repeat putty sand repeat so that's where i'm at now every square inch of this thing has got to be glazed and sanded puttied and sanded over and over again until it's smooth i can all on the top here it's already starting to get smooth um we're it's also helping with the symmetry i'm helping to build it up so that uh, it looks more symmetrical on top the levels weren't quite even when i glued them together so this is what the the uh, putty is doing it's helping me to build up and using the putty to structure the helmet now that you're all caught up i can actually get some work done on this thing so if you want to see some of my previous work check it out on MediocreModeler.com. If you want to hit me up with some questions, you can do that on Twitter at MediocreModeler. Now go build something.